Now let's talk about the P. Diddy freak off parties and what really happened. We have allegedly somebody in the community who would go to these P. Diddy parties and they said that we can give them a call to talk about what happened. So I'm gonna give them a call and we're gonna see if we can get some information about what happened at these P. Diddy parties. All right. Hello? Yeah, so I'm recording right now. What what do you, do you want, like, do you wanna use a fake name? Or do you want to use your stage name? Let me um, know. No, it's fine. Um, no, it's fine. This is Moji underscore booty, M-O-G-E-E underscore B-O-O-T-I-E on Twitter. Moji booty. Okay. So what went down, allegedly, what do you think went down at these P. Diddy parties? These freak off I mean, parties? Yeah, well, so you got, you got to think of it this way. It's a, it's, a, it's a celebrity party and so many people were invited. Um, husbands, wives, you know, current girlfriends. So for this one, so they started out, you know, just as a mix and mingle. Of course, there's cocktails, there's food, but you know, Mixer. all these things, dance, and yeah, I mean DJs and everything. So it's real, it's just real, you know, classy. Starts out as the night gets later. Oh, the wives are, the, the, the wives are getting tired. The girls are getting, the girlfriends are getting tired. They're in the heels that they have no business being in. They're over it. They may be drunk. Got too drunk. They leave. So who always ends the night? The homies. The homies. Right. The homies. So. It's, I feel like, I mean, of course, some of the women, you know, I'm sure everybody has a little bump bump here and a bump up there and a little <laughs> perk here. So really, I think everybody, you know, and, and girls tend to get more intoxicated quicker than the guys. So, of course, they all leave. So what's left? The homies. Well, I mean, of course, the younger guys, they want to get into the industry. Well, uh -huh. just like any gang, just like any, you know, you got to get beat into a gang to be a part of the gang member. Well, you want to get in the industry, you're going to, you know. Oh, get, Wow. Do something a little strange for a little record deal and some change. Oh, a little bump bump here, bump bump there. Right. The light, the night's going on. The homies right, are right, there. Right. Exactly. And then if you think about it, like eventually, you know, I mean, um, I'm, I'm assuming you're gay and you probably mm -hmm. dibble dabble with the boys. So you know, men. I like I mean, men, Moji booty, not I'm, boys. I'm sorry, I'm still this stuck on the boys. You know, I'm older, so I've got to kill my youth by mm -hmm. sucking it out of the boys. But anyway, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the guys start realizing that they actually like it. And then <gasps> so more guys start attending the Diddy parties than the girls. And then, then they also had, if I'm not mistaken, he had separate, like, like homie parties. Oh. Like, just, like just, uh, just the boys, you know, like just the boys are in town or, you know, the boys are in Miami or blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, boys yes. will be boys and men will be men. Wow, and I'm pretty sure they had the Ciroc going, you know, his own. Oh, well, well of course. I mean, so we, we already know that, we already know that, you know, he had his smuggler. I mean, so again, I, I'm trying to be a slightly PG, but I'll put it out there. Of course, there were, there were, there were fountains of alcohol, fountains of champagne, Ciroc everywhere, oh. every other bottle, juice, everything else. But also there were, if I'm not mistaken, it's probably something along the lines that went, um, you know, you have a cocktail server, um, there's also, there's, there's literally, um, I've, I've seen it at, at parties, there's drug servers. They come around <gasps> with like, uh, yeah, with like different drugs on a platter. Literally. What? Almost, almost like, you know how you, like, you get a jello shot. For all for free? Um, well, I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not for free if you stick around at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I hear you saying, I hear you saying. Now, wow. So drugs are, dr tons of drugs that have uh, multiple levels of awesome. You guys put um, wow in the comments. Like Comment wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is insane. Okay. Billionaire and, 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 and the black Epstein. Epstein. So Woo. of course he had drugs. So here, I, I thought the party went like this. I thought he would have a party at his house or mansion and then they would all leave to a club and then they would come back to an after after party. That's how I thought it went down. Well, and that, that's probably actually how, like, so a lot of them have probably, that's probably how it turned into the boys' night because you go out with the girls, y'all go out clubbing, all the wives and the girlfriends, everybody's a big group, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, again, again, think about it. How many girls do you know that, like, they go home early and their, their husband or boyfriend or fiancé hangs out with the guys? You know, I'll see you when you go home, kiss, kiss, hug, hug, love, love, Okay. Or how many girls, how many guys do you possibly allegedly know that go, well, my girlfriend just went to sleep on my way over. Um, so anyway, with that being said, the girls go home and then the guys go to the strip club. Then they end up at the after party. Mm -hmm. the day in. Oh my God. Okay. Well, thank you, Moji Booty, for giving us the inside of 
what allegedly will go down at these P Diddy parties, okay? No problem. And I'm gonna start my um my 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 Moji booty parties. Um, oh, Moji booty parties. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I promise I'm gonna get you an invite. I promise, promise, promise. Thank you, Moji. Top of the guest list. Duh. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Thank you for having me. Bye bye. Bye. There you go. So this is uh, apparently that's what went down at, the, at these Diddy parties. Now we have some more information about the party. So this was posted by the veteran, and they're talking about what it would happen from their point of view, from what they got at these P Diddy freak off parties. It's no news that they weren't regular parties. Here's exactly what happened in Diddy's Freak Off audios. The digital landscape, no stranger to scandal, was rocked when an audio clip drenched in explicit content abruptly surfaced online. The voices in the recording were swiftly identified as those of Sean Diddy Combs and Meek Mill, two hip-hop powerhouses. The clip's sudden emergence and scandalous nature catapulted it to the center of viral attention within hours. In the audio, the two men are heard engaging clearly in an explicit physical activity. One of the men can be heard screaming screaming out curse words as if to say he is in pain of some sort. And towards the end of the audio, it is as if one of the men enters a rhythmic crescendo to climax. Social media platforms, the potent catalyst for viral content, played a pivotal role in the clip's rapid spread. Twitter timelines were ablaze with the hashtag Diddy Freak Off, while Instagram was flooded with reactions and speculations. Public reaction to the audio was a spectacle in itself. Fans and detractors took to their keyboards, voicing their opinions with a fervency that only such a salacious story could provoke. Some expressed disbelief, others amusement, and many conveyed outright shock. Memes, jokes, and hot takes flooded the internet, each trying to outdo the other in capturing the moment's absurdity. The clip's authenticity was questioned, with some users conducting their amateur investigations, dissecting every second of the audio with a fine-toothed comb. Others pointed to the history of both artists, using past events and statements to bolster their arguments for or against the recording's veracity. As the story snowballed, it became clear that the audio clip had struck a chord. Whether it was genuine or a well-crafted hoax, it had managed to captivate the attention of millions, becoming a cultural moment that would be dissected and discussed for days to come. In another Another audio, Gene Deal, Diddy's former bodyguard, revealed this sequence of events, an alleged clandestine encounter between Diddy and Ja Rule, with an unexpected twist, a plug. This story is not just about the glimmer of the music industry, it's about the secrets that lurk behind the velvet rope. The tale begins innocuously enough, with a trip to an exotic bookstore where the curious and the bold can find items designed to tantalize and provoke. According to Gene, it was here that Diddy made a purchase that would set the stage for the rumored rendezvous, a bag of adult toys among which were several plugs. But what was the purpose of such a purchase? The answer, Gene suggests, lay in a trip to North Carolina where Diddy was scheduled for a show. In the Tar Heel State, within the confines of a luxury hotel, the plot thickened. Armed with his provocative purchase, Diddy allegedly expressed a desire to visit Ja Rule, who was staying in his private suite in the same hotel. Despite Gene's attempts to dissuade him from such an impromptu meeting, Diddy was insistent. What transpired next is when Gene's narrative turns into the realm of the risque and the whispered rumors that often and follow celebrities like a persistent shadow. Fast forward to later that afternoon. Gene stood guard at the door. It's then that the unexpected happened. A ring at the doorbell, a demand for entry, and the sudden appearance of a man claiming to be Ja Rule's cousin. The cousin was determined to see Ja Rule, but Gene was unyielding. The room, he explained, was off limits. The cousin's persistence turned to aggression, a challenge to Gene's authority. A scuffle ensued, the cousin attempting to force his way past, only to be met with Gene's formidable presence. When this happened, Diddy and Ja Rule emerged, clad only in towels. Ja Rule, taken aback by the sight of his cousin in conflict with Jean, sought to understand the commotion. Diddy, equally surprised, looked at Jean for an explanation. In a moment of levity amidst the tension, Jean explained the situation, and Ja Rule talked about what was occurring behind closed doors. You don't want to go inside the room. There's a lot of freaky stuff going on inside there. Several questions linger, but the search for answers continues in the ceaseless pursuit of the truth behind the viral phenomenon of Diddy's freak-off audios. And with good intention of celebration and recognition for whatever the cause was, and most likely it was surrounded by, around P. Diddy's birthday or some type of P. Diddy event or deal or brand deal or something. Not a celebration for him. You know, a, a little bit of narcissism in there, but, you know, uh, in this world of celebrities, there's a lot of that. And then I can't help but to feel like the party would continue. And I think, in my opinion, I think they would leave. They would go to a club, go there, hang out there, and then it would just be like a select few guys, like, hey, come back to the come back to the mansion. And I think when they came back to the mansion, that's when it was, you know, it's getting late. 
I had a little bit too much and you want to spend the night. You know, you had way too much to drink. You don't have to. You drove here. Yeah, just leave your car here. Just spend the night. You know, kind of like that. That's how I think that the night would go. Okay. In my opinion. In my opinion. That's how I think the night would go. Now, other people like Moji Booty, like the veteran, you get different sources. But what I find interesting is we haven't had a person sit down and say, I attended a P. Diddy party. Here's some pictures to prove it. Here's a get ready with me I did to get to the event. Here's me wearing the same thing at the party. Oh, here's me meeting so-and-so. Here's me leaving the event. And let me tell you what will go down with these parties. Everyone is just like, no one's saying anything about these PDD parties that were actually there. Okay, with proof. And it seems like all we have is these videos that would get leaked online. You know, when you have parties, you have videographers and photographers come and they get paid to take pictures of the event and like the who's who that was there. And you, now I'm like, well, what's, what really went on at these P. Diddy parties? And no one's talking about it at all. No one's talking about it. And on top of that, I said this in my other video, Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce, Jay-Z are just very quiet. And a lot of people in the industry are looking at Beyonce and they're like, you're not saying anything, Jennifer Lopez. You're not saying anything. No one's going to back up Cassie. Cassie's another one. She could be another one who would sit there and say, this is what happened at the PDD parties. But she didn't say anything either. I find that to be very disturbing too. But again, it doesn't matter what I think about all this drama in the comments down below. I want to know what you guys think about it. And it really means a lot. Thank you guys for watching all my videos. I can't get a like to save my life. I can't get a subscriber to save my life. So thank you so much for all the likes and shares and the new followers we have here. I appreciate you guys so much. And if you want stuff like this, but in a shorter package, check me out on TikTok. I'm over there at Rich Lux on TikTok. You'll see me there. I'm just a clown with the crown. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for all the news. And all the drama. I love you guys. And I'll see you later. And I'll check my Instagram too. Okay. Bye.